It's not a tear down, fix up, review, anything like that. It's just my equipment working badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem asking, what the hell is wrong with my modem? Now, for some reason, it's not doing it now. Let me just turn the lights up so you can see the lights. But just earlier, this light wasn't on. None of these lights were flashing. And this light was flashing really, really fast. So anyway, let's just bring up Google Chrome here. Try to get into my, into my modem settings here. Except, of course, as you can see, it doesn't work. I've typed in what I could find in IP config, and it does absolutely nothing. Now I did get a page up, but now it doesn't even do that when I type these things in. And this try again thing in Go um, Firefox is absolutely useless. Just because I said that, it actually did something this time. Would you believe it? That try again thing usually never does anything, but this time it actually did. Now that's about all the info I can find on it. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this thing. As a matter of fact, it started doing this when I was browsing YouTube, and it loaded up the YouTube page all wrong. And do you know what I thought? I thought YouTube had changed their home page again. In fact, I'd already started making a video about it. Welcome to the new YouTube. Yes, everybody, this is the new YouTube home page. Just look at it. I don't know if I'm the first to get this. But have you ever seen anything so crappy in your life? I mean, what the hell? Not content with making it look as basic as they could, you know, with that Facebook style layout. They've now gone the full nine yards and made it look like... Well... Really, really old internet. It's crazy. Just what the hell were they thinking? Anyway, first time it ever did this, I gave it a massive thump and it worked again. Problem solved. Until today where it did it again. And this time thumping it, no matter how many times, didn't help. It seems to have sorted itself out, but who knows how long it's going to be before it goes wrong again. Okay, now a friend dropped by a couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, and he gave me these two modems. I've lost my train of thought. My noisy mum has come back in, talking at the top of her voice early in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. But anyway, like I said, he dropped by and he gave me these two modems, except I can't get either of them to work. Anyway, let's just connect one of these up and see what we get. Right, okay, so I've connected up the super hub. Just wait for it to get itself stabilized. We've got some lights flashing up the front here. Okay, they seem to have stopped flashing, so it should be ready. Close your mouth, Lisa, you look stupid. Anyway, let's see if we can access the internet with this. I already know that we I already know that I won't be able to, but I'll just demonstrate anyway. Yep, this is all we get. At least I won't have to type in the IP address of this thing because it's printed right on the back. So let me just have a look at that one is okay it's 192.168.01 so let's put that in it's 
see if we can get it to tell us anything. No, I don't think this is going to work. Still connected to the computer. And you know something? It doesn't even show up on the wireless on the laptop. You might think that this first one is the top one as it says hub, but that's not. It says BT hub. And all these connections that you can see here, these are all the neighbors wireless networks. None of them are this. And before anybody asks, yes, I have done a full hardware reset of this thing prior to making this video, and that's what I get. Right, well, here we are trying the other one. It's got some very dim lights on the top of it, which surprisingly are showing up way better on the camera than they do to me. I can barely see those lights at all, but they're showing... don't know how the camera's picking them up better, but anyway turn the computer on and let's see what we get with this one. Let's try to get online shall we? As if we all didn't know what's gonna happen by now. Come on, any day now. I'm waiting. Well, I really don't think this is going to do anything. But this is about as far as it's going to get. Let's see what IP config can tell us about this. If I can just remember. I keep forgetting on Windows 7 there's no run thing. I have to type it in here. So it's obviously connected or we wouldn't get all this information here. So anyway, I'm going to put in this address here and see what it see what see what it shows us. It shows 86.9. What were the other two numbers? 192.16. No, 162.1. Right. Absolutely sex all. I'm not going to say what the other word for sex is because I don't like to say swear words. Alright, let's just try the other one. Nope. It's just being as stupid as it ever was. And again, it doesn't show up on the laptop on the wireless. Oh yeah, sure, there's all the neighbors connections as you can see. But where's mine? Well, okay, I've got the other one connected now. And it appears to be working again. But who knows how long it's going to be before it goes wrong again. So yeah, that's it. Any suggestions would be gladly appreciated, and until next time, goodbye, if you could hear me over that.